We're back with more trailers. <laughs> yes, we, we love are. our trailers. We do. Okay. Yeah. So this one is Paul Thomas Anderson, who did Magnolia, uh, Phantom Thread, There Will Be Blood, mm-hmm. Boogie Nights, you know, a, a, a very prolific director. His latest film is called Licorice Pizza, set in the 70s, San Fernando Valley, where he grew up. Yeah. So I think there's some autobiography in this. We've and, seen uh, we've seen this location in a few of his films, so we'll yeah. have to see how it looks in this one. Yeah. Because it's so, back in the 70s. Yes, it is. It's almost like an alternate reality from Boogie Nights. Well, let's take a look. Let's watch it. <laughs> okay. It's a god awful small affair. To the girl with the mouth. I love this song so much. I'm not the girl I'm going to marry one day. But her mommy is yelling no. And her daddy has told her to go. Listen, young lady. But her friend is nowhere to be seen. So how'd you become such a hot shot actor? I'm a showman. That's what I'm meant to do. To the seat with the clearest view. Wow, 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 wow. And she's hooked to the silver screen. Do you know who I am? Yeah. Do you know uh, who my girlfriend is? Barbara Streisand? <laughs> Barbara Streisand. Sand. Sand, yeah, like sands. Like the ocean, like beaches. Barbara Streisand? <sighs> no, like Streisand. Sand. <laughs> But the film is a sad thing for This is fate that brought us together But she's lived it ten times or more Our roads took us here She could spit in the eyes of fools You're not my director They ask her to focus on Do you really want to see my boobs? Can I touch them? See you tomorrow It's weird to hang out with Gary and his friends all the time. <laughs> I think it's weird that I hang out with Gary and his 15 year old friends all the time. I'm not gonna forget you. Just like you're not gonna forget me. Gross. Oh, camera A. Oh, camera B. Mark it. Action. I'm coming, Nancy! Hello? Such a great song. It is. Brilliant it, choice. <laughs> yes. It, that always just takes it up a notch. Mm. And um, But the trailer is really interesting because the, the, end, the ending of the trailer, just with him like putting his finger to his mouth, is just like this subtly like, cre- like what's going on there? You know, Yeah. Like, and then his little a, friend who looks like he's 12. Like yes. the whole age thing is just weird to me. It was it, strange. But it's it's you know, Paul Thomas Anderson is makes interesting films. Mm-hmm. They're sort of like it. it I think it's supposed to be a gentler one and it seems like yeah. hopefully it will be, but there's always going to be elements of something else that makes it kind of interesting <laughs> and weird. But the ca- the cast, Alana Haim is uh, supposedly a re- revelation that she's in the rock band Haim with her two yeah. sisters. She's the youngest. Her two sisters are actually in the movie. Cooper yeah. Hoffman. And their real who- parents are also playing their parents. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. we did. Uh, I don't think we saw them in the trailer. I was looking for them, but um, no. apparently in the film they're in it. Yeah, and Cooper Hoffman is Philip Seymour Hoffman's uh, son. It, are they're the two main stars? But the supporting cast, you know, Bradley Cooper plays John Peters, Sean Penn <laughs> is in it. Sam. Yeah. <laughs> Tom Waits <laughs> is this director. Benny Love Safdie, that. Amaya Rudolph. So you really, you know, interesting sort of side cast. Amaya too. Rudolph is his wife. Yes. Yeah. So um, ah, All the players. Did, yes. So. Um, <laughs> I'm going to see it tomorrow night, and I'm interested. Uh, I just think it looks like it's in 70 millimeter at this theater in Westwood, so yeah. it should be interesting to see. And I think uh, it's cool to see two young stars started carrying this film. Yeah. And Licorice Pizza, is, it was a 70s, I guess, or 70s, 80s uh, record store here in Los Angeles. Yes, it was. Uh, yeah, so... Um, I think it's going to be having grown up in the seventies. I I think maybe I'll relate to that in some way, you know? And so it's, um, it's appealing to me. 
I just like the 70s look. Like I like yeah. the 70s attitude because I mean it's all, everything's analog. The the clothes are simple. It's all right. looking a little shaggy, you know. No one you didn't have a lot of stuff to do with your hair, you know, your clothes were, you know, <laughs> the, they, the, the bell jersey. bottoms were about as flamboyant as they got, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so I love the fashion in this. It looks like they did a really good job capturing the time. And um, of course, you know, he did Boogie Nights, which was also kind of a San Fernando Valley kind of um tribute <laughs> on different side yes. of things. Right. Um, but uh, you know, this guy, he's a brilliant filmmaker and yes. just seeing this, it felt very authentic. And, you know, I really like the idea of him casting kind of unknown actors because you're, then you're not distracted by the stardom. I mean, he right. added in the stars. It's probably, it looks like these very big broad characters that are supposed to kind of like pop. Right. But I like that these, these main actors, you know, this is her first film apparently. Um, and I, I love that they're just going in just sort of blind. So you're going to get to know these people and you're not going to have these preconceived notions of a celebrity. So so it's a kind of smart idea, but I think the trailer looks very endearing. Yeah, and Cooper Hoffman plays, you know, uh, a kind of a, 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 you know, a young star, like a potential, yeah. you know, a film actor, a yeah. youth actor. And I think Paul Thomas Anderson had a friend, Gary Getzman, who was that and later uh, became a producer. So it is, there is autobiography there. And of course, him meeting John Peters and all these yeah. big celebrities brings a Hollywood angle into it, but it's still very much set in the valley. You see the you know the endless strip malls of the valley. You yeah. see um, you know the, obviously the record store and then the, the gas station with the lines out. The you know mm -hmm. you see that which was you know energy crisis time yeah. back in the early seventies. So I think he's not going to hit you over the head with it, but you're going to say, oh yeah, this is it feels very authentic, like it yeah. was really filmed you know fifty years ago. Yeah, it looks it looks you know amazing. I mean, it feels like one of those films we kind of need. There's a yes. lot of big bombastic, a lot of Marvel films, a lot of you know Dune, and you know I love Dune. Um, it's nice to kind of come back down to earth for a nice small little character study. You yes. know, I don't quite know what their relationship's going to be. Um, you know, she's a lot older than he is. He's 15. Looks right. like they're sort of that that awkward sort of just cresting into adulthood feelings that I think you know Anderson will be really good at depicting. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, I don't think you can show a guy your boobs and ask him not to touch them. I thought it was a little unfair that she slapped him in this trailer, but we'll see. Maybe he deserved it. Um, yes, exactly. So, uh, also, we have the posters. We can take a quick look at yeah, these. Yeah, let's we do have, that. Um, we have the teaser. Uh, it looks like, well, it looks like it's um, an illustrated version of a poster that you never, ever get to do. Um, this looks like it might be an international poster. Yes. Uh, Again, there's no credit block. We're seeing a lot of that now. I think with streaming, credit blocks are kind of going out of vogue. Mm. A lot of times it means it's a teaser, but apparently now, like a lot of studios are opting out of, whoops, opting out of showing, you know, the credit block, which I actually have always liked having the credit block when I was doing Me movies. too. I yeah. like having that grounded, here's the credit block, you know, yes. and it just felt very movie like. Um, Especially if you we, follow the director, you know, exactly. or who's who, who, who did the music, that kind of mm -hmm. thing, you know, so. And getting an illustrated poster through is near impossible. I think yeah. this one, because it's the seventies that, you know, they were able to probably, you know, pitch an idea that it's illustrated. So it looks more authentically like a seventies poster. Um, it looks like uh, Tom Waits might've been added in later. He looks a little more contrasty than everyone else. It just doesn't oh, quite match. Interesting. Um, but uh, there's no copy line here that I can tell that they're, they're selling the stars at the top. Um, you know, we had the big names at the top and, you know, they still put our little unknowns over the people like Sean Penn and Tom Waits, which I love. Um, yeah. So there's that one. And then we have the, uh, the more commercial um, looks like the, the finished poster again, no credit block, as you can see. Right. Uh, but I love this because it looks like a seventies poster. You know, this is where they just have like a, a scene from the movie almost. Yeah. I mean, they're mm -hmm. looking at camera, which is, you know, not a scene from the movie, but it looks that super low end, you know, nobody's, airbrushed it's just a right. you know a total cop moment feeling right. you know like oh take our picture here we are and i think this depicts perfectly the attitude of this film yeah this is going to be like in that dazed and confused and maybe mm -hmm. fast times is a little bit of a stretch but that kind of film yeah and uh, with nostalgia and characters you know hopefully you can relate to it just yeah. feels like it's going to be a good movie watch so i wish i knew if this licorice pizza logo was like the record store logo um I didn't double check to see if it's actually from the record store. But again, we don't have a copy line on this, which I think is interesting. I haven't seen a copy line yet. 
um, it's rare that a poster goes out without a copy line, but this is Paul Thomas Anderson. And what else do you really need to know? Yeah. <laughs> it's and I Paul think he, he, yeah, he gets away. He, he can do it. You know, him and yeah. Tarantino, some of these auteurs, you know, mm -hmm. it, it works. I'm just trying to see if that logo, um, can, I can pull it up just at least okay. on my phone. Um, <laughs> image. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, it's a whole, no, it's not the same thing. Okay, so they just did a '70s looking title for the, yeah. the film. Um, so yeah, that's that's. I think this looks really fun. I'm looking forward to seeing this. Uh, Me too. And, and I hope they play that song, <laughs> David Bowie song in the film, because <laughs> I love too. that song so much. I'm assuming the music will be great because he usually does a good job with that. I know Johnny Greenwood is doing his soundtrack again, yes. which he usually does. Yes. Um. So yeah, good stuff. A list. Bring yes. it. Yes, right. Licorice Pizza coming soon, so Pizza. check it out. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> See you Bye. soon. Bye. The Earth is invaded by indestructible moon monsters.